it's more of a management situation that they know what's going on. It's just things aren't being done about it. Now at 6, a WSLS-10 investigation into the Salem VA Medical Center. More than $1.7 million worth of equipment reported lost in the last five years. What's being done about it now? Good evening and thank you for joining us for WSLS-10 at 6. Well, the Salem VA Medical Center has 22,000 pieces of equipment that they track every year across multiple buildings on that sprawling campus. But a WSLS-10 investigation finds potential problems in keeping track of those items. Our very own Jenna Zipton has been looking into this for the last eight months, reading through hundreds of pages of documents and talking with people inside who say policies need to change. Medical equipment, big screen TVs, and computers, all bought with taxpayer money for the Salem VA Medical Center. But a WSLS-10 investigation shows items just like this, more than $1.7 million worth of equipment, were reported lost in the last five years. It's more of a management situation that they know what's going on. It's just things aren't being done about it. This man is a VA employee. He didn't want to be identified, fearing retaliation or losing his job. He says no one is being held accountable. Big ticket items reported missing. In 2012, more than $26,000, a lighting assembly, auditorium, and stage lost. In 2013, a more than $75,000 portable ultrasound unit gone. Sometimes there's a priority to look for it, and then there's sometimes there's not a priority to look for it. Our eight month investigation into hundreds of pages of documents shows of the more than 1,100 individual items reported lost, only 198 were ever reported found. Nearly 1,000 items worth more than $1.3 million written off the books. Your tax dollars lost. How does this happen? There's quite a few things that are on these areas that are not locked properly or uh, locked correctly. Our insider says security is an issue in medical wards, offices, and storage areas. He's found patient records in boxes, floors of furniture, and rooms of medical equipment. Like dozens of these vital signs monitors worth thousands of dollars that are seen in several areas, including a bathroom. Our source says Salem VA records show the monitors are currently being stored in a warehouse when they were actually photographed in this bathroom. And so the equipment types of equipment that are in here are what? This would be for all equipment, electronic equipment, medical equipment, administrative equipment. This is that warehouse. Chief Logistics Officer James Kelly oversees the highly secured area with key card access and specially locked gates. So basically, you oversee everything that comes into the Salem VA and everything that goes out of the That's Salem VA. That's correct. But when we asked about the monitors, he said it wasn't his department, even though the records show the monitors are being stored in a warehouse he oversees. With questions of equipment not being stored correctly, how difficult is it to track down that $1.7 million of missing equipment? Kelly's department also oversees that list and the annual inventory. We continue to look for that equipment. It uh, is always on our radar. Kelly says if something comes up missing on the annual inventory, a team is sent to investigate. They report back with suggestions on how to make sure it doesn't happen again. Those recommendations are passed on to the leadership team at the Salem VA. Our investigation shows some items are not really missing. VA records show two beds reported missing in 2014 were traded in for $50 each, and the record never updated. Once we started asking questions and requesting documents, the Salem VA began to take a closer look at what was missing, and more items turned up. By item count, uh, we were able to locate about 50% of each one of those uh, in each respective year. He says it wasn't so much that those items were missing, it's records not being kept correctly. If this is the official document that the governing body overseeing you, right, big VA, as that's you call correct. it, if that's what they're looking at and that record's not correct, does that concern you? Yeah, it, it actually uh, is concerning. Have any of the questions we've asked in this process or documents that we've asked for in this process made you realize that things need to be done a different way? 
the answer is yes. And, and anybody that takes a look at uh, us from an outside perspective, um, has we should listen to that. He admits there are things they need to continue to look at, including employee training and possibly process issues to make sure records are updated correctly. But our source is skeptical things will change after seeing a pattern for so long. The people who are running VA, they know this and for some reason are con allowed to continue this behavior. I don't believe it'll stop until multiple agencies go in and investigate VA. In Salem, Jenna Zimpton, WSLS 10. Now we've taken these findings for our federal lawmakers who say they're looking into the problems and will talk to the VA. Jenna also mentioned there are questions about security in Salem. She's following up on those concerns as well. You can see a breakdown of more information and some of the documents on WSLS.com. This is, of course, a story we'll continue to follow. A follow-up to a WSLS 10 investigation into the Salem VA Medical Center. For the last eight months, our own Jenna Zipton has been combing through hundreds of pages of documents and talking to insiders at the VA. Our investigation shows more than $1.7 million worth of equipment was reported lost in the last five years. There are also questions about security in medical wards, offices, and storage areas. Our source has found patient records and boxes, floors of furniture, and rooms of medical equipment. After we brought up concerns, the VA started making changes and found some, but not all, of the equipment. Anybody that takes a look at uh, us from an outside perspective, um, has, we should listen to that. The people who are running VA, they know this and for some reason are con allowed to continue this behavior. I don't believe it'll stop until multiple agencies go in and investigate VA. WSLS Tension is Zipton has more on lawmakers' reaction. Three federal lawmakers are now looking into the issues we highlighted in our investigation into the Salem VA Medical Center. Senators Warner and Kane are aware of the concerns and are in touch with the VA. Senator Warner's spokesperson says, quote, the VA has a responsibility to ensure that there are adequate controls in place to properly track inventory and that employees have a safe process for pointing out waste, fraud or abuse if and when it occurs. Senator Kane believes accountability and transparency at the VA are critical issues. Congressman Bob Goodlatte says his office stands ready to hold the Veterans Administration accountable to both the veterans and the American taxpayers as the House of Representatives continues to demand accountability from the VA. Goodlatte says, quote, any allegations of lax security and misuse of taxpayer dollars at the Salem VA must be taken seriously. It is imperative that our veterans receive high quality, accessible care in a safe environment. And I am greatly concerned about these allegations and their potential impact on our local veterans. We'll, of course, continue to follow up on this story. You can see a breakdown of more information on this investigation on WSLS.com. Jenna Zibton, WSLS 10. And we're learning new details tonight from search warrants. The Salem VA Medical Center has been identified as a potential target for terrorism. This is according to the VA police chief. During our continuing investigation into the medical center, WSLS 10's Jenna Zipton found more than $1.3 million of taxpayer money earmarked for security upgrades. The upgrades were supposed to be up and running last year. But as Jenna found out, some parts still aren't functioning and it's costing taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars to fix. Around the outside of the Salem VA Medical Center, a fence helped secure the area during the lockdown. But over the last few years, there were other upgrades you may not have noticed. Currently, we have access control, uh, which is on the door that was uh, recently installed this past year. Documents we requested under the Freedom of Information Act show more than $1.3 million earmarked for three major projects. The police chief, Dale Henley, says the updates were finished in September 2014. He was the project manager and oversaw payments. That before I would make a payment, I would have to talk to the contracting officer representative and say, is this portion done? And, uh, and can I release the funding? Once he says, yes, you can release the funding, then in the computer I go in and I would release the funding. One of the projects would allow the more than 80 buildings on the campus to be locked or opened with the push of a button. 
Previously, it had to be done by hand, taking more than 30 minutes and a lot of manpower. But now, 10 months later, our investigation finds there are problems with security systems. If I spent a million dollars on something, I would make sure that it worked correctly. Uh, me too. Yes, ma'am. I would want it to work correctly. But we've learned Chief Henley has requested thousands of dollars for fixes. During our investigation, WSLS 10 obtained audio of a staff meeting in April discussing security issues, comments the public wasn't supposed to hear. Right now, all of the exterior access control is still not working because it's not tied up to the firearm system. Uh, I put in for funding uh, around 200000 Don't share that amount with anybody. With doors not tied into the fire alarm system, if there was an emergency lockdown and a fire started, people couldn't get out. Because of that shortcoming, the chief says the system cannot be turned on and isn't being used. A $200,000 oversight. He continued telling staff about other issues. The second thing is, is right now none of our motion intrusion is working. All 28 devices are down. Uh, you guys should have been told about that some time ago. In an email sent to officers, they were told to walk the areas, including the warehouse and cashier, because it didn't have working motion detectors. Another email sent in late June to the entire staff said, quote, currently we are experiencing problems with our alarm server, and all of the alarms are down in the facility. The chief said to staff in the April meeting when the system was installed, they didn't connect it and there would be an additional cost to fix it. I do know that because my contracting officer representative did not do what I asked him to do several months ago when they were finishing up the project and when, a de and when one of the devices fell off the back door of building eight and almost hit a doctor in the head, um, and then another one was missing. I told the contracting officer representative to go around and check all of the uh, newly installed packs, uh, and then he didn't do it. The contracting officer wasn't available for an interview, but sent a statement saying, quote, We simply had not completed checking on them when Chief Henley asked for a status update. We were able to complete the full inspection of the newly installed personal access controls and developed a list of deficiencies to be addressed by the contractor. Have there been issues with the motion intrusion? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, um, tell me about that. The problem is, is that now this would be a um, vulnerability um, to the facility, so I'm not going to address that right now. When we pointed out the multiple glitches, and as with any electrical device, you're going to have a failure at one point or another, even if it's brand new. I mean, you could buy a brand new car, drive it down the road, and something may cause it to stop. To me, if I was trying to do all of this and these things kept happening, I would be frustrated. Well, it can be frustrated when you have a glitch in a system, but like I said, that that's any electrical device. Chief Henley told me the $200,000 request was approved for the doors and they will start fixing the system in October. Meanwhile, the chief believes the Salem VA is safe. So where did the ball get dropped? We're waiting on the VA to give us the bids and contracts for the projects to see if it was an oversight that wasn't included in the original job or if the job wasn't done to specifications. It's worth noting in the conversations we've had with people at the VA in connection with this story and others in the series, there seems to be a lot of finger pointing. Jenna Zibton, WSLS 10.